Have you ever heard of FERPA? FERPA stands for Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. It's the federal law that protects the privacy of student records. It seems that many students do not fully understand what their FERPA rights are, so I sat down with head registrar Jeff Rhodes to ask him a few questions about this topic. Now that act does three things. Number one, it ensures the students the right to access and review their own record. Secondly, it protects students' rights to corrections of inaccuracies in the record. And three, and the one we uh, usually hear about, is that it uh, restricts access to student records, okay? Uh, which basically means that I can't tell students what's in, I can't tell people what is in a student's record without that student's permission. Also, a company outside the university can request a list of all students' directory information, and the university is entitled to provide that for them. Directory information includes the name, address, phone number, email address, major, and birthday of a student. Both the FERPA law and the Texas Public Information Act require us to release that upon request. Now, students can request what we call a FERPA block, which prevents us from even releasing the directory information. Students can sign into their assist account, click the personal information tab, and click directory information release to enable their FERPA block. Uh, we get requests from credit card companies who want to get a list of our students who are enrolled and they want to send them credit card offers. We would take out those students who have a FERPA block and we would make sure that on that list the only thing that is released is directory information, name, address, phone number, etc. The private information of more than 19,000 students was available online for two months due to human error from September to November 2011. The information was taken off the website, but it violated the FERPA law because it revealed students' GPAs. Since then, the university has not had an incident like this happen again because it's taken the proper precaution to protect student information. If you do choose to enable the block on your account, you can always go back and remove it at any time. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pan American's YouTube and like us on Facebook. For the Pan American, I'm Daniela Diaz.